Welcome back to All This Math. This is Professor Parker. And for this lesson, we're going to be solving an equation uh, where we have parentheses on each side of the equal sign. Now, when we see parentheses, typically we want to get rid of the parentheses. Now, how do we get rid of the parentheses? By using the, dis using the distributive property. What is the distributive property? That's when we take the number that's outside the parentheses, right, or next to the parentheses, and we just multiply that number by everything inside the parentheses. Make sure you multiply by everything. Some people often forget to multiply by the second number in the parentheses. So that means we're going to multiply 8 by 2x, which is going to give us 16x, and we're also going to multiply 8 by 3. Remember, don't forget to multiply by the second number. 8 times 3 is 24. Right? Then you bring your equal sign down, and we're going to do the same thing with this 6. 6 gets multiplied by everything inside the parentheses. 6 times 4x is going to give us 24x. And 6 times negative 5 is going to give us negative 30. Right? So 16x plus 24 is equal to 24x minus 30. Now I'm going to transpose. Right? When we transpose, we move terms around in order to have you know, all the X's on one side and all the constants on another side. So I'm going to move this 24 X over to the left hand side. I'm going to move this 24 over to the right side. Now, when we transpose, we must remember to change the signs, change the signs. So this 16 X was already over here. So I keep it there. The 24 X moves over, but now it's negative. Now when it moves, when it crosses the equal sign, now it's now the sign changes. So now it's a negative 24 X. Bring the equal sign down. Now we got a ne we had a negative 30 that was already over there. So that's still over there. That's just negative 30. But this 24 moves over and now it becomes negative 24. So now because we have all our x's together, we have all our constants together, we can just combine them. So 16x minus 24x is like doing 16 minus 24. 16 minus 24 is negative 8. So we got negative 8x, right? Bring your equal sign down. Then we got negative 30 minus 24, which is negative 54 have to know how to add and subtract negative numbers. So negative 8x equals negative 54. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try to get x by itself. So we have to get rid of this negative 8 by doing the opposite operation from what the negative 8 is doing with the x. Negative 8x means negative 8 times x. The opposite of multiplication, of course, is division. So that means we're going to divide by negative 8 on the left hand side. And in order to keep things balanced, we must also divide by negative 8 on the right hand side. So negative 8 divided by negative 8 gives us 1, which is going to be 1x or just x. But then over here, we're going to have negative 54 over negative 8. 54 is not divisible by 8, but we can reduce this fraction um, because 54 and 8 have a common factor of 2. So 54 is going to turn into a 27. And 8 is going to turn into a 4, right? Because 54 divided by 2 is 27. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now, you might be wondering, what happened to the negative signs? Well, understand this. A fraction is just a representation of a division problem. Whenever you're dividing a negative by a negative, your quotient is always positive. So the fraction is going to become positive. So 27 fourths. We could leave the answer like this, or we could convert into a mixed number. How many groups of 4 fit into 27? 6, right? So 6 times 4 is 24. And then what's the difference between 27 and 24? 3. So that's going to be our numerator. We keep the same denominator, which is 4. And so we also could represent this 27 fourths as 6 and 3 fourths. We also could represent this as 6.75. Since 3 fourths and 0.75 are the same thing, just like 3 fourths could be represented as 3 quarters, 3 quarters is the same thing as 75 cents. So x is equal to 27 fourths or 6 and 3 fourths or 6.75. And that's today's lesson. Thank <laughs> you.